For couching, I've tied a knot in four strands of yarn, two yarns, one ribbon and a cord. And to end it, all you do is twist it around your finger and tie a knot. like that and use scissors or shears or snips to cut it now I'm going to turn my sewing machine onto a zigzag stitch so for mine I'm going to do C and 2 because it's quite a thin um, couching cord so I don't want a really large stitch width and length so to sew this on I'm just going to sew this one in a straight line. I'm going to put the gap in the presser foot on the centre of the cord itself, starting at the very edge, moving the knot out of the way. It might get stuck on the knot, but we'll try it. Reverse at the end. It's got stuck on the knot here. So if that happens, just lift it up pull the knot out of the way and then let it carry on. I'm just having to pull it from the back side just to help it move. Keeping the gap in the breast in the centre and reverse at the other end. Now that's doing it very quickly on a sewing machine. Now you can couch it in patterns obviously. I always think the back looks quite nice as well because it creates like a channel look also.